Hello guys, hope you're doing good. Today in this video, we are going to fix Microsoft Edge not working or if it's not responding. I'll be telling you very simple and very effective steps which you need to follow and make sure you do all the steps. So let's get started. So the very first thing, here in the search bar and type settings. Once you do that, you will find settings app. Once the window is opened, once the settings window is opened, look for apps. Now we will click on that and a new window will appear like this. And here we are scrolling it down. And here you will find Microsoft Edge. So once you click on that, you will find the version, which version of Microsoft Edge is installed. And here we just need to click on modify and then it will ask you to say yes and here you will find repair microsoft edge so repairing microsoft edge requires internet connection so this will this is the best way to repair microsoft edge and your browser data and settings won't be affected so this is why this is my first step to repair so if the, once you click on repair it will start downloading microsoft edge and it will start repairing your browser now I can see downloading Microsoft Edge, 36 seconds remaining. So it will install a fresh copy of Microsoft Edge to your Windows without affecting any browser data. So once this is done, restart the computer and see if your Microsoft Edge is working or not. And if it's not, we will move to the next step. Now the next thing which we need to do is to update the Microsoft Edge. So once the Edge browser is opened, you just need to click on this three dots and once you click on that you will find help and feedback and here in help and feedback we need to look for about Microsoft Edge so the moment I click on that a new window will appear like this and it will start checking for updates which is which is a very good thing currently I have a version 94.0.992 and it has an update that's why it's updating so that's really a good thing and you should definitely do that so once this is done just close the edge browser and restart the computer if you still have issues now for that what i would recommend is to open the edge browser and then click on this three dots and go to settings now once the setting is opened you'll find many options like privacy search here we are looking for reset settings so once you click on that you will find restore settings to their default values so here I have clicked on it and most of us have a doubt that it will reset everything which is absolutely wrong it will not reset everything this will reset your startup page new tab page search engine pin tabs and it will also disable all extensions and clear temporary data like cookies your favorites history and safe passwords will not be cleared so it's really a good thing to reset the browser now once you click on that it will not take much time and it will be reset and you just need to close it reopen and see if it's working again or not and if it's not we will move to the next step once the edge browser is open click on the three dots and click on extensions now when we reset the browser the extensions were already disabled but what happens when we have some unnecessary or malicious extensions they get active again so here in the extensions make sure if you have any unwanted or unknown extension you will find an option to remove it so make sure you remove all the unwanted extensions currently I do not have any any extension installed in my browser so I'm good so once you do that just close it and restart the computer and then open the edge browser and see if it's working so the next step will be is to click on the search icon again and then we need to type windows and here you will find windows update settings you will find windows update currently I'm up to date it has been checked so you just need to click on check for updates 
So make sure you install all the latest version of Windows updates. And it might take some time to update your Windows, but it's really a good thing to update your computer for the better performance and the edge. Once it is done, just restart the computer and see if it's working. And if you still have issues, then I would recommend to create a new user account. And how we can do that is by clicking on the search icon. And here you just need to type user. So basically we will create a new user account and you can copy all of your important data to the new user. And here we just need to click on add someone else to this PC. And uh, this will open up the Microsoft account. So we'll not be create, we will be creating without Microsoft account. So I'll just click on I don't have this person sign in information. And a new window will appear. And here it will ask you add a user without a Microsoft account. So make sure you click on this. And here you can give the name. And I'll enter the password. And here we just need to enter the security questions. So there will be three security questions and then you just need to fill it out. Once you click on next, after filling all the, all the three security questions, a new account will be created. So I just have created John Allen account. It's a local account. And you just need to click on that and click on this change account type. And here you do that. Now you need to click on administrator because if you want to make this uh, account as an administrator you can do that else you can use a standard user so I'll be creating the administrator account so I'll just click on that and click on OK now if I close this and if I click on start icon here I have found this profile icon so I just need to click on that and I will find John Allen so once you click on that you will be logged into the new user account and see if your browser is working fine or not and overall the performance is better or not. Let me know in the comment section if it has worked for you and please hit the like and subscribe. I need your support. Guys there is one more thing which we can do. Like after doing all things if you still have issues and if you want to try a new browser then I would recommend two different browsers. The first is Google Chrome and the second is Brave browser. You need to open the Edge browser now at the very top, you just need to type google.com forward slash chrome and hit enter. You will find the Google Chrome to download. So you just need to click on download Chrome and follow the online instruction. It's pretty easy to do that and you will be able to install Google Chrome. Second is at the very top, you can type brave browser and hit enter. This is also a good browser. And the very first result will be HTTPS brave.com. So you just need to click on that and a new window will appear like this. So you just need to, I'll just maximize this. At the very top, I just have an option download brave. So this can be installed in windows 10, 11, windows 11, or any other windows or Mac computer. So you can install it and try to use it and see how exactly it's working. Goodbye guys.